Yo! So Nike is dropping an MX1 and it just so happened to be the dirtiest MX1 that I have seen. So we gonna talk about it. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. I ain't even gonna waste y'all time. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good? It's your homeboy Cam Quarter Banks and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button and drop a comment down below and let me know you rocking with the team you dig. Now, today we're talking about the dirty denim sneakers that are releasing this Friday. Now, I think I'm a fan of it. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan of it, but as of the creative sneakers that have been dropped for the year 2022, I say that this is a decent pair of sneakers and it's worth going to get. But at the same time, it kind of is on a boat of, eh, Maybe it's just basic. I don't know. So we're about to just feel through. We're about to go through these sneakers real quick. Show y'all a few pics and let y'all use y'all word and say how much if y'all like it or not. Let me know down in the comments down below. So with that being said, let's just get right into this. You dig? All right, y'all. Now starting off on the outer sole, I have to say that this is a creative idea. Like you can never go wrong when it comes to gum soles. I actually think that this was a creative idea, especially when you are blending it with a denim look. So for them to actually match this like brown peanut butter gum so i actually like that i actually enjoy it because it's a compliment now at the same time on that outer sole you'll see that it have like splats of blue so of course it's attention to detail but at the same time you'll have to look really really close to actually see those splats of blue or white to make it get that denim feel now getting to that mid sole i think this is something that's also basic but at the same time i think it is a great blend it's a compliment to the entire sneaker but it's like a deep sale or a very very faint yellow it's nothing too deep nothing too intense but again it's like the perfect complement to the sneaker the theme is like spot on so I'm pretty sure you all know if you wear some denim some blue denim jeans you know what color like comes along with that so this is like the perfect complement to a sneaker and the theme dirty denim now getting to your upper I actually do like this because it's a blend of different blues but at the same time you also have different material on here it's actually a different type of material on here so starting off at the upper you'll see that you have some smooth suede that's here and I actually like this because it does give the look of dirty denim so if you have worn jeans before and you've worn them a couple times and you sit them out or something like that and you haven't got a chance to get to watch them or anything like that come around you'll have some discoloration and it'll start to give that yellow look to it so it starts to look like worn denim now moving along they also have their thread the stitching that's on here and i actually like that they stay along the same thing they didn't turn it to like white stitching i like how they stay with that yellow old looking like that old faint yellow look to make it look like it's a dirty denim sneaker so i actually enjoy that they stayed along the lines with that same color instead of actually going for something like plain white or something that really sticks out and then i actually think it will fall off of the thing so shout out to them for staying along thing just for something so simple the thread just makes it stick out a little bit more now moving up you do have that light blue jean denim that's actually denim that's there so shout out to them for actually bringing that theme entirety together it gives this rough denim jean feel and i actually think that that's fine now, now at the same time you'll have a royal blue or a deep royal blue swoosh that's on here and i think that's fire because again you have the light blue the dark blue and then this mix of yellow and blue all together so it gives that full dirty denim but at the same time moving up to some clean denim at the same time so at the same time you will have this bottom of the sneaker making it look like it's already old and worn and then you have your upper denim that's more so clean and the more that you actually wear this sneaker you can wear it over and over again and then you will dirty the sneaker yourself and over due time you will start to get that yellow stain that comes in and it'll show that your sneaker is now aged and at the same time it'll stay a long thing so shout out to nike for the creative idea now as for your laces you will also have that yellow lace that's on there so it's gonna still stay along the theme and on the back of the sneaker on the heel of the sneaker you'll also see that it has this yellowish stitching that's on the back as well now inside of this sneaker you will also have that royal blue that's on the inside so it's still staying along the whole line of this dark blue light blue then you actually have your dirty looking blue and then at the bottom you'll have your yellow that which is more of the stain and then you have your gum sole so it all comes together as one now the price is going for 150 and after that i'm not too sure if it's gonna really rise in price or not because at this point in time we already know what the sneaker game is right now it is on a crash so i'm not sure how high it's gonna go but i don't think that it's too hype enough to the point where it's gonna be four or five hundred dollars right now not right now it may do that some other time but not right now but 
I do feel that this sneaker will sell out. Now I will say that this is an advancement on the 2004 sneakers that they dropped. They had a dirty denim sneaker that they had done for the Air Max One already. And I would say if these came out, if those dirty denim sneakers came out like they did in 2014, if they was to release them today, I would say that these are the most basic of basic. It's not nothing that's captivating to me. And I think that it was just rushed and put together. But when it comes to this one, I think that this is a great advancement. I think that it is fire. It's a good upgrade. This stands out even a little bit more. And this is well thought out. I'm a fan of it. But at the same time, I will not say this is the most creative sneaker of 2022. I would say it's one of them but it, it's not even worth actually putting inside of the barrel because 2022 ain't been that well when it comes to sneaker drops so drop that comment down below let me know what y'all think do y'all feel that this is going to be a fire sneaker is it worth buying is it worth even trying to go after do it even grab your attention or is it basic let me know but in the meantime between time i'm gonna go ahead get up out of here and i'm gonna catch up with y'all next time y'all already know the vibes man i see y'all when i see y'all i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all all right peace